see you on video. And I'd just like to share my disclaimer slide really quickly. So if you can take a peek at that. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always drop them in the chat below. Excellent. Thank you so much for your patience on that. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa. And today I'll be guiding you through chair yoga. We will practice chair yoga together for 30 minutes. So as we practice yoga today, chair yoga, just a reminder to listen to your body. If any stretches don't work for you, you can always skip them, come out and modify. Everyone's body is really different. We've all been through different things. So not every stretch works for every person. And things that you're gonna to need today, you'll just need a chair. Um, I really love doing chair yoga with a chair that doesn't have arms so that I have a little bit mobility, but if you have arms in your chair, that's okay. We'll just work around those. But if it's easy to grab a chair that doesn't, maybe you want to just grab that if you can do that quickly. So let's get started in a seated position. We'll just start with a little centering, a little mindfulness. And I'll encourage you to sit a little bit away from the back of the chair just to help elongate your spine. And just check in with your body. Try to create 90 degree angle in your legs and try to feel that your shoulders are over your hips. We also want to feel that our core is engaged. We'll create a little sensation of tucking our tailbone, feeling the navel move back and up to the spine slightly, and then trying to create that length through your spine. Great. Let's begin to let our eyes close. And just gently bringing your awareness to your feet and feel them planted on the ground. And then gently draw your awareness to your sitting bones. Feel them grounded and planted on the chair. Begin to bring your awareness to your breath and observe the rise and the fall of your breath. Lengthening as you breathe in and lengthening as you breathe out. And if you would like, set an intention for your practice. So that can just be a little goal that you have for yourself. And that could just be to, you know, take this time to practice self-care, to relax a little bit. So there's really no right, there's no wrong. And it's just your own personal desire. As you inhale, let's begin to sweep our hands up towards the sky. We're just going to bring our index and our thumb to touch. And then gently relax your hands down as you exhale. Exhale. Let's take that nice deep full breath in. Hands reach up and touch up. And release. And we'll just go three more times here with the breath. Great. As we take our hands up to the sky here, let's begin to reach for opposite elbows. So we're just going to frame off our ears here. And then a little gentle shifting to the right and a little gentle shifting to the left. We'll just find our way into these side stretches. And these are great for creating lateral flexibility in the spine, helping to open up the sides of the body, helping to find a little length and helping to find a little space here. Take a moment to pause. Let's release off towards the right. And then you may want to draw your right shoulder under, take your left shoulder back a little bit, and feel that your heart is shining up towards the sky. Let your core engage as you float through center. Let's take a full breath to lengthen and release to the left. And then roll your left shoulder under, right shoulder open, and feel that the heart is shining up. Bring yourself back to center. Let's realign here. We're going to release those hands down at the heart space in prayer. And then take your hands up towards the sky. Let's take a full breath in here. This time, bring your hands together. As you exhale, hands will move to your heart space. Breathe in. Let's take those hands to the sky. Nice deep full breath in. And out. Three more times here.
Hands are at the heart space. Circle in the other direction, fingertips up. Arms will sweep out and around. Good. And then as your hands release, let's reach for opposite elbows behind your body. We'll just take our right hand for our left elbow and then left hand for the right elbow. Maybe imagine you could squeeze a pencil between the shoulder blades. So just really activating the arms here. Notice what hand is on top and what hand is on the bottom. So notice, you know, if you're grabbing up on one hand and grabbing up on the other, and then we're just gonna switch that up. So we're just gonna have one hand up and then one hand down. It's just gonna be the opposite just so that we can even off the stretch for our body. Great, let's gently release that one. We're gonna let our hands relax down. Take your shoulders up to the ears, create a large circle and relax them as you exhale. Breathe in, take your shoulders up, back and down. And then one more time with the breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands together at your heart space in prayer. Take your chin to your chest as you exhale. We'll do a little rounding of the back. Heart flips forward and shoulders relax away from the ears. Chin to your chest as you exhale, round your back body. Heart flips forward, shoulders relax. And then flow through cat and dog stretch for a moment. Lengthen as you inhale. Lengthen as you exhale. As you inhale, let your shoulders relax from your ears. We'll create a little space here between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. And then on the exhale, really round your back. So imagine creating space between the shoulder blades. And let's bring ourselves to a neutral spine here. Fingers will interlock, palms press to the sky. Let's we'll take a nice full breath to lengthen and release your hands to the right. Let's try to breathe deeply here. We have all these little muscles in between the ribs, intercostal muscles. So you wanna just give them a really nice stretch here. And back to center, let's lengthen and release to the left. And breathing. Round in that right sitting bone, try to create length with each breath. We're gonna float ourselves back to center and release your hands to the right, taking a seated final twist. And then gazing off your right shoulder and just noticing if that helps you move deeper into your twist. Back to center, let's take those hands to the sky on the in breath, hands to the left on the out breath. And as you inhale, let's try to feel our spine lengthen. And then as you exhale, allow for your twist to deepen. Coming back onto the center, let's take our hands on up towards the sky. Bring your right hand on your back and let your left hand draw you into a shoulder opener here. Let's relax our shoulders from our ears. Really easy to have those shoulders kind of creeping up towards the ears. We're going to relax them down, try to create a little space and a little bit of length here. Hands reach up, nice deep full breath. And left hand on your back, right hand draws you into that stretch. And release. Let's bring our hands to the sky. Nice full breath in. Hands can sweep out to the sides of the room. Right arm over and left arm under. So let's just take a little wrap here with the shoulders. So one option is you can reach for opposite shoulders. You can press the backs of your hands together and then arms wrap up and hands can wrap up. And we'll breathe here. You can stay here with your hands. Maybe try to reach and stretch them to the sky. And release, let's float our arms out. And then we're just gonna do opposite arm this time. So we're gonna take that bottom arm under, top arm over, reach for opposite shoulders, press the backs of your hands together. Maybe arms wrap up and hands wrap up. Maybe take those hands to the sky, full breath in here. 
And release, let's unwrap those arms. Hands onto your shoulders, elbows float forward. Draw them off, take them back and relax them down. Breathe in and out. One more time, let's take a nice deep full in breath and a nice deep full out breath. Let's bring our hands together. Fingers interlock, palms will touch and then circling out the wrists a little bit here. So maybe find large circles, maybe finding smaller circles. And flow in the other direction. Let's begin to extend the right hand out in front, fingertips pointing up, and then draw your fingertips back. Press firmly through the palm of your hand. This is going to be great for opening up your wrist a bit. And then gently releasing. We're just going to lower that hand down, press into the top of the hand for a moment. Give yourself a couple breaths here. Left hand floats in front, fingertips pointing up, and then draw them back. Letting the hand relax, and then press right into the top for a moment. And then this one's going to be great for opening up the muscles here. Those tend to tighten when we're, you know, with our phones and on the computer and things like that. Letting that one go. Let's give those wrists a little bit of a shake out. Bringing the hands back together. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch, and then circle out through your wrist. Let's work a little bit with the legs. I know when I'm sitting a lot through the day, my legs get really fatigued. So we'll start with our right leg. Extend your right leg out in front of you and take a moment here to point and flex your foot. And as you're doing this, try to keep your spine straight. It's really easy to round the spine a little bit. So just keep our spine straight. We'll keep our shoulders relaxed from our ears and we'll keep our heart open. Take a moment to pause. Begin to point your foot. Breathe into the stretch for the top of your foot. Breathe into the stretch for your heel. And then flex your foot. Let's press out through the heel and the back of the knee. Feel your leg active, engaged, and energized. Bring yourself into circles. So maybe find large circles and maybe find smaller circles here. Flow in the other direction. Right foot begins to come up and over. We'll create a figure four stretch, transitioning into a hip opener. So on this one, you may want to scoot towards the edge of your seat. Sometimes that can help it be a little easier to come into this one. You can flex your right foot, and you can encourage your right knee down towards the ground a little bit. Feel free to stay here with the spine straight. You can also fold forward if you'd like. And then just letting your eyes close here. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Try to let go of tension through the back of your head and the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders, arms, and hands. And then relaxing the upper, mid, and low back. Let's engage our core. We're going to float ourselves up. Hands will reach and stretch through the sky. So we'll take a full breath here. Release your hands to the right as you exhale. Bring yourself into a seated spinal twist. And then on your in-breath, feel your spine lengthen. On your out-breath, let your twist deepen. Coming back to neutral, let's bring our hands to the sky. Nice deep little breath here and release your hands to the left. Gazing off that left shoulder, breathing in and breathing out deeply. Bringing your hands up towards the sky, let's breathe here. Hands will come together and hands will come to your heart space. Let's take our right foot to meet our left foot and then we'll take our feet nice and wide. You'll want to scoot towards the edge of your seat 
And we're just going to do a little bit of windshield wipe of the legs to the right and the left. So we're just going to shift to one side and then shift off to the other side. Good. So let's bring ourselves back to neutral. Scoot towards the edge of the seat if you would like. And we'll take our left leg up. Begin to point and flex your foot. And as we're doing this, just try to connect with your breath. Breathe into your stomach, ribs, and chest. And then releasing from your chest, ribs, and your stomach. Take a moment to point your foot. Breathe into your calf stretch. Breathe into the stretch for your quad. And then flex your foot. Breath through the heel, the back of the knee. And then bring yourself into circles here. Hello in the other direction. We'll just reverse that movement. And then drawing your left leg up and over. Create that figure four stretch, maybe scooting towards the edge of the seat to make this one a little easier. Flexing your foot, encouraging this knee down, sitting up with your spine straight, folding forward if you'd like. And then as you're folding here, try to clear the mind of thought. You always know, have thoughts moving through the mind, maybe thoughts for the past, thoughts for the future. Try to release your thoughts and bring your awareness to the breath and the present moment. Engage your core. Let's bring ourselves up to center. We're going to realign here. Hands will reach the sky. Take a full breath in. Release your hands to the left. As you exhale, find your twist. And as you're twisting here, let's breathe into our stomach, ribs, and chest. And then releasing from the chest, ribs, and the stomach. Coming back to center, let's pick those hands up, breathe here, and release off towards the right. And we'll also breathe into our back body. So breathe into your low back, mid back, and upper back. And then releasing from the upper, mid, and low back. Back to neutral. Let's bring our hands up towards the sky. Nice deep full breath in. Hands at your heart space. Breathe out. Take your left foot to your right foot. And feet can come a bit wider and drop to the right and drop to the left. Come back to neutral. We're going to realign here and let's come on up to stand. So as we start in standing, feet a little wider than hips and then gently draw the arms side to side. So just do a nice little and release for the arms and the legs and the spine. Let's move our chair a little bit today. So for this one, you're just going to want to spin it in so that you have access to the seat. And as you line up here with your chair, let's take our hands up to the sky. Nice full breath in. We're gonna fold ourselves down as you exhale. So if your hands are on the chair, we'll take it out a little bit here. Bend one knee and then the other knee. And you can relax your head yes and no, so you can kind of shake your head out if you want. We'll just work a little bit with a supported forward fold. And then as you come into stillness here, let's walk the hands to the right. We'll find a little side stretch. So try to feel Grounded evenly through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. Bring yourself back to center and release to the other side. Let's reach and stretch from the waist. We're going to lengthen the side body, the arm, the fingertips. Bring yourself back and through the center, back into a fold. Working with cat and dog stretch to lower your stomach down, lift up through your heart. Tailbone will lower, crown of the head will lower, and then flow with the breath for a moment. Try to lengthen your spine as you inhale. 
Lengthen your spine as you exhale. As you inhale, try to relax your shoulders from your ears. We'll create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. And on the exhale, really rounding your back. So imagine creating space between the shoulder blades. Good. Let's come to our neutral spine here. You're going to lower your stomach, lift your heart, and then we're going to come on up to stand. We'll take a nice deep full breath to rise on up, and then drawing your hands at your heart space as you exhale. So let's try a little mini sun salutation. It's kind of just a flowing movement with the breath. Nice warm up here. So your hands will reach to the sky as you inhale. Fold yourself down to your chair as you exhale. Lower your stomach down, lift up through your heart. And we'll do a little round of the spine to come on up to stand. Nice full breath in, hands will reach and stretch up. And then hands at your heart space as you exhale. Hands will sweep to the sky, full breath in. Hold yourself down, breathe out. Let's lower the stomach. We're gonna lift up through the heart. Do a little rounding of the spine to come on up to stand, full breath in. Hands at heart space, full breath out. Let's try one more, hands will Come right up, up, breathe in. Hold yourself down, breathe out. Lower the stomach, lift through the heart, little rounding of the spine to come on up to stand, full breath in. Hands with the heart space, full breath out. Great, let's bring our hands behind our body. You may wanna step away from the chair. I'm gonna take a yoga mudra for the hands. So for this one, your fingers will interlock, your palms will touch, and maybe imagine that you could squeeze a pencil between the shoulder blades. Take a nice deep full breath to lengthen. We're gonna fold ourselves down as you exhale. Your arms can run along your back and you can also release your arms away from the back if you'd like. Try to relax the fronts of your shoulders and just notice if that helps you move a little deeper into your shoulder stretch. And gently release your hands onto your low back. Take your hands down towards the ground, and then we're just gonna let ourselves float up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Let's take our shoulders up, back, and down. So feel free to grab onto your chair if you'd like. If you need a little support, you can flip your chair around so that you have a little access to something a little bit more stable. We'll try a couple of balanced poses. So we're gonna try a quad stretch. You can also grab onto the wall. For this one, take your right hand for your right foot. And if you grab on the outside of the foot, that tends to be a little bit of an easier stretch on your shoulder. But if you'd like to grab on the inside of the foot, that's gonna be a deeper shoulder stretch. So you can decide what's gonna work best for you. And then you'll just find a drift seat. So anytime we're balancing, we just wanna find one spot to focus our concentration, to focus our awareness. And once you find that spot, it's not letting the eyes shift at all. Let's begin to release. We're going to lower that right foot down and we'll take our left hand for our left foot. And then we'll create that little sensation here of breathing into your quad. This muscle tends to shorten through the day if you're sitting a lot. You also have our hip flexor and psoas muscles on the front of the hip and they tend to shorten as well. So this stretch is great. It just helps to create a little bit more balance in the body, evening off the front and evening off the back side. Let's begin to release that one. We are gonna take our feet a little wider than hips. We'll sweep arm side to side. And then bringing your feet in line with your hips. We'll work with chair pose. So maybe bring your hands onto your hips and then drop your hips back and down. So you can gaze down, make sure that you can see the tips of your toes. So we just don't want our knees to be floating too far forward here. Send your weight back into your heels, let your toes be light and almost a feeling like your toes could lift from the mat. We are gonna breathe, so let's try to breathe into our stomach, ribs, and chest, and then releasing from the chest, ribs, and the stomach. Let's begin to release that. We can straighten out our legs, releasing the hands down. Let's take our shoulders up, back, and down. Let's begin to work a little bit with the balance pose. So feel free to take your hands on your hips. Again, you can reach for your chair or the wall. We'll take our right foot out in front to start. And then we'll just try to lift that right leg up as high as we can lift it. You'll try to have your legs straight. Press out through the heel and the back of your knee. 
Try to feel that your leg is active, engaged, and energized. And then gently releasing. We're going to take our right foot to meet our left foot. And then as you ground down into your right foot, left leg can rise up. We'll try that balance pose on the other side. Try to feel that leg rising with each breath. Try to keep it as straight as you can. And then also sometimes a natural tendency is for the shoulders to float back quite a bit. So just make sure that your chest is moving forward and that it's floating right over the head. Good, let's release that one. We'll take our feet a little wider than hips. This time, let's take the arms side to side. So one time the right arm will be on top and then the left arm will be on top. And we're just gonna float here. And the arms can kind of slap on the back a little bit, almost like they give a little massage, which is nice. Good, let's come back to neutral. Hands can relax down. And then let's drop our right ear to the right shoulder. We'll find a neck release here. And just letting your body move you deeper into the stretch. Coming back to neutral, let's take a nice full breath here. Left ear to left shoulder, inhale and exhale. Back center, let's realign here. Drop your chin to your chest as you exhale. And then releasing back to neutral. Let's gaze right on up to the sky. Come back to neutral. And let's come on back to seated. You'll just find that comfortable seated position how we began our time together today. As you come on back into seated, let's do a little neck circling. So we'll drop our chin to our chest. Relaxing the head down. Pick your right ear to your right shoulder. Float it off. Come back to center and release your head to the left. Come back to center. And then let's begin to circle the head. So maybe find large circles, maybe find smaller circles. And then circle in the other direction. And then let's come back to neutral. We'll just gently realign the neck here. Take your shoulders up, back and down. Take a moment here to close your eyes and notice how you feel. Maybe feel the mind relaxed, calm and at ease. Feel your body aligned and balanced. So any tension that you came to class with, just feeling how that has released with movement and breath. Letting the eyes open when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining today. It's great to be here with you practicing chair yoga. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good weekend, Melissa. Thank you. You too.